Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be creating is the background for the landscape. Now I want to add gradients to the background. So what I'm doing here is I am placing these three colors like this. And now I'm just going to uh, apply Gaussian blur to all of them. So here we have a nice gradient effect. Now I am going to be creating the frame. Now this is optional. You can go ahead without creating a frame. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling the layer with white color and I am taking the selection tool and selecting ellipse. And I'm just going to click on the layer and select clear. Now we have this really circled kind of frame. I don't know how, what to call it. Okay, so the key to um, make a paper effect landscape is to um, draw everything or every element in the landscape in a different layer. So I am creating different layer for everything. I'm just going to be drawing mountains here and I've just added a new layer for that as well. So the two key points here is adding new layer for every new element and making sure the placement is right. So I want this mount these mountains um, just after the moon. So I'm just creating a moon. So yeah, I mean, you have to make sure uh, you have to just decide beforehand uh, how you want all of these elements placed. So uh, I just created a new layer just after uh, the background layer and I created a moon and after that I created a mountain so that's how you are gonna decide what placement what is gonna be coming first and what is coming last I hope that makes sense now I want to add a tree just behind the frame and one just above above the frame so that's what I'm doing here and also my landscape is really really simple and I'm not doing anything crazy with them I'm not creating some realistic art here I just want to create some like really cute simple landscape so that I can teach you how you can actually make paper cutout effect out of it so as you all know I'm just creating new layer for every element and don't worry I'm just going to be merging these two down like that and now I'm just going to create a tree just above the frame And now I'm creating few clouds here and there and I decided to make those just above the frame. Now what I'm doing here is I am just adding little highlights over the clouds on the mountains and some shadows on the tree just to make it um, you know look more I don't know what cute maybe so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing right now Now comes the main part. So now what I'm going to be doing is as we have created new layer for every element, we are just going to duplicate each and every layer. 
to select the color to black, make sure that the layer uh, mode is selected to alpha lock, not mode, but just select the alpha lock and fill the layer with black color, like I'm doing here. Now what you want to do is make sure you are removing the alpha lock, especially uh, where we just filled the layer with black. And now the next step is just select every layer with the black color and add Gaussian blur. And I'm adding blur up to 19%. So that's what I'm going to keep for each black filled layer. Now what you want to do is just select every black fill layer and just move them like I am moving here wherever you think um, the shadows are looking good. So I'm just going to be shifting them towards the right side like that. And here you have the paper cutout effect. Now what I'm doing here is as I think the shadows are really dark, I'm just decreasing their opacity up to 70%. So now what I'm doing is I am adding, I'm just increasing the saturation of the background and of the clouds as well, just to make them pop out a little bit. Now this is just optional, you can completely avoid this step. And now I'm just adding some texture to the frame like this. I hope you can see that the color is too light. So yeah, you're basically done with it. That's how you create paper cutout effect landscape. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys the next time.